everybody. How's everybody doing? Hope everyone's doing well. It's a beautiful spring day here in Denver, Colorado, the Mile High City. And I've decided today I'm going to make sugar-free cherry nut ice cream. Is sugar free because some of us have to watch our sugar intake so I love ice cream as I'm sure most of us do but I can't have all that sugar rich ice cream so I've decided to make a version without real sugar it's really very simple and it's delicious and I think that's what we're going to do today so let's get started Okay, so let's get started on our sugar-free cherry nut ice cream. What you'll need is two cups of heavy cream, a cup of whole milk, and here's my secret to making it sugar-free. Splenda, not so much a secret, but it works. Splenda instead of real sugar. So three quarter of a cup of Splenda. A pinch of salt, a tablespoon of cherry extract, one pound of frozen cherries, and about a cup or so of walnuts. Today I'm going to use a combination of walnuts and pecans. You want that good crunchy texture in the ice cream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up in this pitcher because it has a pour spout. It makes it easier to pour it into my ice cream maker, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Right now my ice cream maker is in the freezer. It's an attachment to my KitchenAid mixer and it comes with a paddle so it mixes it for you in like 20 to 25 minutes you'll have the ice cream but it has to be frozen in your freezer before you can use it. So the first thing you want to do, do is mix the ingredients and I'm going to use this pitcher to do it. And then we're going to chill the ingredients once they're mixed for about half an hour, at least half an hour to an hour before you start mixing the ingredients in your ice cream maker. So let's get started with the two cups of the whipping cream. Move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. So there's the two cups of the whipping cream. That goes in my stir pitcher. Then the one cup of whole milk. That goes in. Then the three quarter cups of Splenda, which I keep in this plastic container. This is a half a cup measurement and this is a quarter cup of measurement. So there's half a cup and here's the quarter cup. That's it, That's it for the added sugars, although it's not really added sugar. So basically this ice cream is no sugar added ice cream. There's some sugar, in the, natural sugar in the cherries, of course, as there is in any fruit, but uh, I'm not adding any sugar. Then we're going to add a pinch of salt, just a pinch, about that much. And then a tablespoon of my cherry extract, which I just got in the mail. This will make it taste really good. And I'll stir that around before I add the cherries and the nuts. So, you want to stir this enough so that the um, sweetener, in this case the Splenda, and the salt incorporate into the milk and cream. That should be good. 
good. Then you add the one pound of frozen cherries. It's really a nice day here in Denver. There we go. It's spring, the birds are chirping, and I can't wait to add the flowers to my window boxes, which is episode three, I believe, of my series. I showed everyone how to make a window box. And I've made them, and they're outside. But um, we had snows not too long ago here in Denver, so you don't want to plant flowers while it's still snowing. I'm hoping that it will not snow anymore and I'm really looking forward to putting the flowers in and planting them. But in the meantime, we're making ice cream. Mm. So you want to pour your cherries in the ice cream. Stir that up just a little bit. Well, there's not too much stirring to do, but uh, anyway. Then you want to add your, your nuts. This, what's make, this is what makes it cherry nut ice cream. So. I don't really measure nuts. Um, this is probably about half a cup of walnuts. And we're going to do another half a cup or so of pecans. Just like this. About that much. Let's mix that up just so that they all incorporate. And the most important part at this stage is to um, to refrigerate the mixture for at least half an hour to an hour. So I'll be back after it's ready to be put into the ice cream maker and we'll have ice cream in about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. So it's been an hour since my ice cream mixture has been refrigerated and it's ready to go. This is the ice cream maker, which is an attachment to my KitchenAid mixer. It's been in the freezer overnight, so it's frozen solid. It's got a, a, a liquid sealed inside of it that freezes, that makes it very, very cold. So. It also comes with the paddle attachment and the snap-on gear mechanism that will allow it to turn the paddle. So the first thing we'll do is we'll attach it to the mixer. <laughs> Just like that. Then we'll put in the paddle and then the attachment and it'll just sit right onto it just like that we lock it we turn it on low the very lowest setting just like that then we'll pour in the mixture It'll be a little messy, maybe, but we'll see. Just like that. In 20 to 25 minutes, we'll have the ice cream. So it's been about 20 or 25 minutes and the ice cream is ready. It's now in soft serve form. And this is what it looks like. I have to dig out the, um, the paddle, which kind of stays buried. And then we'll give it a good taste. Look at that. That looks delicious. So, we're going to, well, wipe this off a little later, but I want to show you 
what this cherry ice cream looks like. We're going to immediately put it in a container so that we can freeze it. But this is it in soft serve form. Look at that. Good golly, that looks so good. Yum, yum. You can have it now in soft serve form. Or you could put it in the freezer and freeze it, which you'll have to do anyway. But I want to mention one thing. If you read the ingredients of your commercial ice cream at the supermarket, you will find <laughs> there are ingredients in that container that you can't even pronounce, which is not good. Um, one of the ingredients is antifreeze. Believe it or not, antifreeze is included in ice cream that you purchase at the supermarket. And the reason is so that it doesn't freeze super solid so that when you get it at home, it's frozen so solid you can't scoop it. Well, that may work, but I don't know about you, I don't want to consume antifreeze. Look at that. I'm going to taste it now. But I want, what I want to say about putting this in the freezer is that because it doesn't have antifreeze, yuck, um, when you have it in the freezer for a period of time and you pull it out to have some, it's going to be frozen, you know, very solid. So you're going to want to pull it out and let it sit on your counter for a period of time, maybe, you know, half an hour for it to become soft enough to serve with an ice cream scoop or something of that nature. So let me grab a spoon and we'll taste it. Okay. So, here it is. What? What? Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Oh. This is so good. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> oh my golly. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. I taste the cherries. The crunch of the nuts is spectacular. Mm, mm, mm. So, um, oh my God. Sorry, folks, I'm getting lost <laughs> in this very, very decadent ice cream. Mm. Mm -mm. I can't stop eating it, but I will. So, this is in soft serve form sugar free cherry nut ice cream that you are going to love. I hope you're able to try this. I think I'm going to have some more while I say goodbye. <laughs> This is just out of this world. Mm, mm, mm. So, if you get a chance to try this, please do. And let me know what you think about it. Mm, mm, mm. No. Well, maybe one more. Just because. Okay. So, let me know what you think. If you're able to try this. And we'll see you next time. For my next project, whatever that may be. Hope y'all are staying safe, and we'll see you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.